good morning students today we are going to do a very important part of english literature and that is the literary history now a very important age in the literary history is the romantic age which is also known as the romantic movement it is generally supposed that the english romantic movement began in 1798 with the complete publication of the lyrical ballads by william wordsworth but it is a mistake to give any definite date to it it was not a sudden outburst but the result of long and gradual growth and development the poets of the romantic school william wordsworth st coleridge p b shelley john keats lord byron etc were not even the first romantic of england for elizabethan literature is essentially romantic in spirit it is also full of sense of wonder and mystery love of daring passion and adventures curiosity and restlessness which we associate with the poet of the early 19th century the romantic spirit suffered a total decline and eclipse during the neo classical age of the 18th century which is also known as the augustan age or the pseudo classical age the augustan literature was mainly intellectual and rational deficient of any emotions it dealt exclusively with the artificial life of upper classes of the society and its form and diction were artificial it had no feeling for nature the romantic movement began as a reaction against the airy intellectual intellectuality and artificiality of classicism return to nature played a very prominent role in the rebirth of romantic age suffocated which with the cramped and crowded city atmosphere people long for the freshness of nature they wanted to return to the fame and invigorate the, to the fresh and invigorating life of the world of leaves and flowers it was in the season that is the poems by james thompson that nature came to her own for the first time a long step forward in the history of romanticism was taken with the publication of lyrical ballads in 1798 it was now for the first time that the two friends wordsworth and coleridge specified the aims and objectives of the new poetry coleridge printed out that he would treat poetically the objects and incidents which are supernatural but in such a way so as to make them really convincing wordsworth on the other hand was to deal with the sub- subject taken from the ordinary and common place life but make them look charming and extraordinary this opened a new chapter in the history of english romanticism no account of the development of the english romanticism can be completed without the mention of the impact of french revolution a reawakening of the love of nature and of the simple humanity living in the lap of nature had been presented even before the revolution but it now acquired a new psychological basis and fresh force and stimulation keats is a unique phenomenon in the history of english romanticism in more than one way he represents a unique balance of classicism and romanticism the term romanticism is an action of withdrawal from the outer experience to concentrate on inner experience the chief characteristics of romantic poets are a all romantic literature is subjective it is an expression of inner urges that is the soul of the artist it does not care for rules and regulations and it is based on the subject of fancy b romantic poetry is spontaneous and natural overflow of powerful emotions the poet does not care for perfection of form and clarity of expression see the poet feels the presence of unseen powers in nature and thus his poetry is an expression of his wonder d a romantic poet is a dissatisfied individual e the romantic poets also have a definite purpose in their poetry for example wordsworth raises his voice against diction so english romanticism is thus both revival and a bold bold revolt it is the revival of old english meter of old english masters of poetry it is a result against the 18th century traditions and conventions thank you